Hey everyone, it's Lisa with KG Tropicals and I just wanted to share with you um, what's been going on the past day and a half with Mama Cat. I had dropped her off for her surgery yesterday and within a couple hours they called me and they said, Mama Cat tested positive for FIV. Now if you're not familiar with FIV, it's basically the cat version of HIV for humans. Well, I wasn't very familiar with it, but they filled me in on it. Basically, they wanted me to decide, do I want to continue with the surgery or euthanize her? She's a stray cat, a feral cat. She's got all these issues going on with her. Her eye needs surgery. She needs to be spayed. If you decide to let her out and not keep her inside, then... She's gonna infect other cats with the FIV. And so my decision, of course, was continue, please, you know, continue on with her surgery. I will have her inside. She'll be a fish room cat and she will live the best life ever. And for what amount of time she'll have, because apparently FIV is something where I guess a cat may not live quite as long um, as other cats, but they can still live up to 10 or 12 years. And I just want to make sure she has a good life for however long she has. That's been my intention the whole long, the whole time before I even knew, you know, whether she had FIV or not. Um, I am glad that I decided to get that test done because it was. It wasn't included or anything, but I was like, yeah, go ahead. Let's just make sure to be on the safe side that everything's okay. Uh, another issue may be that uh, the kittens have it. So I had to let the people know that had adopted the two kittens I already had given out. And um, I had to let the person know that was taking two of the other kittens so they were aware. So the good thing is FIV, if you put two cats together that are from the same litter or they both have FIV, they can't infect each other because they're already infected. The problem is when you put a, a cat with FIV with another cat that doesn't have FIV, that's a problem. So the good thing is there's not that issue at all with any of those four kittens. So there was one kitten left and John decided we're gonna keep the one kitten and mommy cat will have a baby that will stay with her after she is healed and feels better so um, that that's what's going on and I have mama cat in the back seat she's ready to go in she has to keep a like a cone thing around her head because she can't get to her eye um, she's she's doing pretty good don't expect a lot out of her but you know she might she might say hi no nope, she's resting sorry um but anyways i will do another update and let you know how she's doing in a few days i'm sure you're probably getting a little tired of all of these cat videos and stuff but i just really wanted to share that with you. I've had so many people follow me uh, the last couple weeks just to see how Mama Cat's doing and I wanted to make sure you guys saw that she's doing good and she's going to continue doing good because I'm going to take good care of her. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.